Crash and Burn RC, I'm Ken. Today we're going to look at balancing an EDF. Oh, there's a lot of videos on there. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. Two, two ways that you need to know is that first you're going to statically balance it. That means putting it on the blade on a balancer and uh, balancing it that way. The second thing is getting it all together and then running the motor and finding out where the least amount of vibration is. And basically I'm going to show you in this video exactly how I do that. Okay, we're going to pop this thing back together, like this, take this end cap off. Now, the secret is, you want to get it real snug, but you still want to be able to turn the blade and hold the motor, so you can turn this blade with holding the motor still, you're turning the, the prop adapter on the shaft. So you hold the motor still and you can turn the blade. And what we're going to do is we're going to work from 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the clock method as they call it. So and basically what we're going to do is we're going to run it. We'll mark one blade like right here on, and then mark right here. And then we'll run it and see how the vibration is. And then we will take it and move this blade to the 3 o'clock position, run it, check the vibration. Then we're going to go to the 6 o'clock position, then we're going to go 9 o'clock position, and then back. And then we're going to find out where the least amount of vibration is. Let's say it's between 3 and 6 was our best result here. So what we're going to do is crank it down a little bit past 3, try it. A little more past three and work your way all the way up to six and then you can fine tune it back and forth until you get it right into that sweet spot you crank it down and, and you're this good is my to setup go. I got going on right now so I can just control this with a servo tester and the way you do that is you also obviously want to run this on the manual setting because you got the centering position and then the auto but you want to go on manual um, I've got a little two cell in here powering the servo tester itself then I've got the four cell that's connected to a speed control that's going to the, uh, the EDF. So I got it all hooked up. I'm going to hold on tight here and we are going to give it some throttle. I don't want to. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got some power to it. Definitely got some power to it, and I didn't bother marking it, see? So that was problem number one. And I'm going to start with, let's say, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark this right on here. Just put a line right there, maybe even the blade just for, and then I'm going to do this just so I know that, that this right here is where I'm starting. And I'm causing a lot of wind here. It makes it a little difficult. Um, I don't know how well you're seeing that on the... I don't want to blow. Here we go. It doesn't actually feel too bad. But here we go, okay? We're going to hold the motor back here. And I'm going to crank this over into the 3 o'clock position, just like that. Now let's give it another try. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Let's go ahead and crank that if we're at the 3 o'clock position where we left off. Now we're going to crank that to the 6 o'clock position. Right there. And let's give it a try. I don't know what happened here. Alright, here we go. That right, sounds like it's getting a little worse now. Let's go ahead and put it back in the 6 o'clock position. Crank it over to the 9 o'clock position. Right, right there. See what we get out of it. Wow, 
Oh, you know, I think I like that one the best so far. Right at 9 o'clock. And how did we do here? Let's see what we got. Now, let me hold the motor back there and spin it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go halfway on this one. Right there. Oh, I don't like that at all. 9 o'clock, let's go. Where are we at? Halfway. I'm going to come back to the... Come back to the nine o'clock position right there. Let's see how we got. We come back down a little bit, down from the nine o'clock to halfway between nine and six, and let's see what we got there. You know what? That one. I think that's that's the spot right there. Yep, I like that one. Right there, actually sounds the best. Still a little loud because it's an outrunner motor, um, but and it's only five blades, but that feels the smoothest. It feels the least uh, amount of vibration, and it's not too bad. Now, this is the stock motor, the stock blade, everything they give you. Now, I want to show you, I have here a 12 blade with a, this, stock motor is a, a 3200 kV motor for this EDF and this one here is a 26 I'm sorry yeah 2600 kV motor outrunner and it's got 12 blades and I've already balanced this out and uh, everything else this will eventually go into the meteor but for now I just want to try it stock let's plug this in and see if there's much of a difference between that one and this one Connect. Oop. Oh. Doesn't really want to work it. Oh. Backwards. I always get it back. On the first try, it's just like I always get it backwards, no matter what I do. Okay. Let's give it a shot here. I see that one sounds nice so the uh, more blades you have the better sound you're gonna get in my opinion but you also have to watch your amperage because the more blades you got the more amps are gonna go up so you got to make sure you got a speed control that ha can handle that so this one will go in uh, later but for now we got this one balanced dynamically as well as uh, statically and the last bit of thing is that you can't forget tighten that bad boy up right where it is you want to hold the motor and the blade right where it is so it doesn't move because you got it nice and balanced up so that is this is going to go back in the plane and i think we may have a little bit of success with it because every meteor i've heard is uh sounds like hell and i don't know if there's a whole lot you can do to get it to sound real good with these five blades but you know they say that that stock meteor is uh, pretty fast so i want to run it stock and see what kind of speed and stuff we get and then um we're going to go in with this one and see i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try it first on this 2600 motor and see how it does and then um i may take out this 3200 motor and put it in there with this fan and see uh you know see what kind of stuff we get have fun with it that's why i got the plane to have fun with it.